Welcome to Retro Box Breaks. This is the channel where we open up baseball card boxes from the 80s and 90s. And today we're going to open up a box of 1990 Upper Deck High Series. So this box is pretty exciting for mainly the uh, that uh, logo right on the front there. You have a uh, very long odds <laughs> of um, getting a signed Reggie Jackson out of the box. Um, I may be wrong, but as my memory, um, if my memory is correct, Reggie Jack, the Reggie Jackson signature is the first real chase card in, in baseball cards. So for anybody who doesn't like the inserts, it's the beginning of the end. But of course, that's kind of the way baseball cards have gone. Um, but additionally, there's a... 10 card Reggie Jackson set that's pretty neat in there. Um, you can get all this stuff from the low series, so it's not like it's only high series cards. Um, a bunch of uh, good cards in here. Uh, so for rookies, we have Sammy Sosa, Juan Gonzalez, Larry Walker, David Justice, and then of course we have all the stars that were playing at the time Mike Schmidt, Nolan Ryan, Tino Martinez, George Brett, uh, King Griffey Jr. Mark McGuire, Don Mattingly, Barry Bonds, Cal Ripken Jr., Ryan Sandberg, and Randy Johnson. And then just for a little spice, there's a couple of possible error cards. Although very unlikely, there's a Ben McDonald error. Um, I say that because this is the high series. They probably already fixed it by then. And then there's a Nolan Ryan error. And then although Beckett uh, does not list it, there's a Mike Witt error, possibly. So, um, yeah. A lot of opportunity to get some cool stuff out of here. Hopefully we get some. Let's get to it here. Of course, these cards are all mixed up. Cecil Fielder. There we go. Oh, two stickers in this one. Stuck together. All right. Got something here. Oh. Bob Hamlin. Oh, well, there's a real interesting video about Bob Hamlin. Uh, if I remember, maybe I'll link it in the description below. It's about, it's not specifically about Bob Hamlin. It's about Bob's in uh, sports in general. It's actually kind of interesting. The person who did it's pretty good. I think it's a two-parter. So we'll see if I can find that. If I can, I'll put that down below. So far, I think Cecil Fielder and Jose Canseco are the coolest ones I've seen so far. Nobody worth pulling out. There's a Jim Abbott, Daryl Strawberry. Mike Sosha. All right, two packs in. Not, not a lot. So, of course, the several of the rookies are going to be lower odds in these packs. Um, in fact, most of the cards that I mentioned will be lower odds because this is a high series box. It's got some additional high series cards in it. Um, that doesn't mean you can't get the low series out of it, which is also nice. We've yet to see a um, Reggie Jackson card. I don't think they're that hard to pull. feel like you could get quite a few out of a box. All right. I really like the old foil packs too. There's just something about them that's nice. Nolan Ryan right there, his regular set card. Very cool. Not the best shot in the world, but still a Nolan Ryan. These stickers are getting a little sticky. Sticking to the cards.
Chris Hammond. Ah, there we go. Baseball hero. So, although it doesn't have Reggie Jackson on it, this is the cover card for it. I don't remember seeing that logo up there in the top. I have to look into that. Oh, it says find the Reggie. That's what it says. Okay. So the Baseball Heroes card. Sort of a Reggie. Honestly, with a long list of people that, that we're looking for here, I kind of expected to get almost one out of every pack. It has not turned out to be the case. I have a feeling we'd, it'd be a lot better if we had low series. Of course, then you don't have the Reggie stuff. So I guess the only thing we can do here is go as fast as we can, and these packs are just not... There we go. Got to do some work to get them open. <laughs> I'll tell you, the um, the most valuable card in this thing, looking at eBay anyways, oh, there's Ben McDonald, and it is the corrected version. The error has the uh, Orioles logo on it. The uh, According to eBay, um, the Mike Witt error is kind of one of the most expensive cards in the set here. Outside of uh, outside of the Reggie Jackson signature, so I think the odds of getting that error are far better as well. So, gonna be looking for that. Oh, there's Don Mattingly. We got another another one here. Cool. Willie Wilson. Two more packs in the first quarter of the box here. Hopefully we can get another one of these Reggie cards. Which are probably the most interesting thing in here. Especially if you consider the odds of getting stuff. It's the most interesting card you're likely to get. Chris Hammond once again. Oh, man. There we go. Packs just tearing off of there. I wonder if they were like that before or if they've kind of degraded over time. Ramon Martinez. So has anybody out there pulled uh, this signature Reggie Jackson? Or maybe you just... Oh, there we go. Not the one we're looking for. Not any one of the other nine. Um, or has anybody bought it on eBay? Um, is this... Am I the only one out there that really thinks this is a, a card that changed the industry, so to speak? Let me know in the comments below. Be interested to hear other people's thoughts on it. I 
I've always kind of thought that it was the beginning of the uh, insert craze, which kind of allowed base Kevin Moss. He was a big deal for a minute. Um, kind of allowed the baseball card industry to continue to print out of control with the under the guise of oh, but there's still limited chase cards in the box. Of course, most of them were not limited. I mean, even the elites over time have turned out. The Don Russ elites have turned out over time to not really be all that. Ten thousand isn't a small enough quantity. Um, of course, there were a few exceptions to that type of stuff. The '92 Bowman, you know, that actually had a for the era a low print run. Um, and I guess things happen eventually where they, now they're doing lower print runs for a lot of things. Barry Larkin. There's another Jose Canseco. Another Bob Hamlin. I'm going to set him out just so that I can... Tony Gwynn. Um, just so that I can remember to put that... It's actually a really interesting video about Bobs and sports and how there used to be a lot more of them and over time there have been less and less. Man, we really have not been getting much out of this thing. Joe Carter. Ah, we got two stickers again. That's something. <laughs> uh, Gary Carter. Steve Avery. That's cool. I guess he's not that big a deal. Jose Offerman. Both of those guys were kind of a thing for a while, I think. I don't think they were ever worth a lot of money or anything, but or people that uh, outside chance. Oh, there we go. Is that? Oh no, Kevin Bass. Thought it was somebody else. Man, King Griffey Senior. There you go. Um, kind of surprised we haven't seen the Nolan Ryan cards yet. The uh, There's a special one at the end that has an error version of it. Honestly, it looks like, if I'm reading Beckett correctly, the, corrected, the correct version is actually worth more than the error version, which is I find a little bit interesting. Both of them are fairly common, so they're not really worth a whole lot. A dollar and three dollars, according to Beckett. Which probably means if you can get a dollar for it, you should probably take it. <laughs> and this has been a pretty lackluster box. Dwight Gooden, checklist card. Tommy Green, rookie. I do like the art on the front of the uh, checklist. I, I thought that was cool. don't know if there's a King Griffey Jr. in the 1990 upper deck. If there is, hopefully we'll get that one. Wade Boggs. I feel like these stickers are almost more important than the cards. <laughs> ah, there we go. There's a card you want right there. Ken Griffey Jr. Definitely um, remember that iconic card. A whole bunch of like, I have to start opening the packs on the side, I think. Packs keep putting like dust of some kind. 
So King Griffey Jr. Ah, there's the Nolan Ryan. Or no, this isn't this is a different one. This is the five thousand strikeout. The one that has the possible error is like the sixth no hitter thing. Okay, very cool. Love me some Nolan Ryan. I definitely remember that card from back in the day. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just move these out of the way where I'm doing the pack openings. There's like a uh, little bits of foil dust coming off these packs. David Justice rookie. There we go. Not a high dollar card, but still pretty cool nonetheless. This dude, oil can Boyd. Will Clark. Alright, come on, let's get some Reggie Jackson cards, that's the whole point of this box, let's pull Reggie Jacksons. Another Will, oh the other one was like some special, like he got MVP or something. Matt Noakes. Jose Gonzalez. Or Guzman. Guzman. <laughs> Second year Gary Sheffield. That's cool. Ken Caminiti. Rob Ritchie. Not that I know all those guys, but there they were. Man, these packs are have got to be degrading over time. I don't know, maybe it's the glue giving way or something. Uh, come on. Dude is stuck. Ah, right, got looks like we got a Reggie Jackson there on the back. Bo Jackson? Oh man, I totally forgot about that card. Oh, very sweet. Pulling that one out. Mark McGuire. Yeah, the, I like these um, checklists. I'm going to pull out that Mark McGuire checklist. Here's one of the Reggie Jacksons. Can't really see them in the, in the deal there. I guess that's for... This is 1984, 500. And I guess this is a picture from his 500th. So there we go. Oh, there he is right there. Just as back as to you. Okay. Oh, okay. We already went through that whole pack. Very good. That was a pretty good pack. Got a Bo Jackson, a Mark McGuire, and a um, Reggie Jackson. Hopefully we didn't spend all our luck on that one pack here. Hopefully we keep some coming here. Still looking for, I don't think we've seen the Sammy Sosa or the Juan Gonzalez um, or the Larry Walker for that matter. I think Larry Walker is actually in the extended set or the high series. He might not be.
Oh, there's another Reggie Jackson. Okay. Okay, so maybe we're Kevin Mitchell. This is the one I think of whenever I think of this set. Uh, partly because this is the one that has the signature on it. When it is signed. Number 9 of 9. So we've gotten two of the nine Reggies and the set topper thing. I don't think the odds are with us to get the whole nine card set in the box, but maybe we can get a few more in here. Like I said, I don't, I don't think they were that that rare or hard to pull. Robin Ventura. Well, how do you do that? Got to pull it apart, I guess. There we go. Ozzy Gian, is that who that is? That sure is. Ah, there we go. Got us another card, Randy Johnson. Of course, his rookie in is is an eighty nine, but still pretty cool. Second year, Randy Johnson. way these have gone when you get one you usually get another one that's interesting in a pack does not look like it happened this time all right let's keep that reggie train going let's see if we can pull another one here ah oh, cow ripkin jr it's not a reggie but it's a card that we we're looking for at least i was cow ripkin jr very nice card Got all the flakes from the pack opening. Mookie Wilson. <laughs> I like that name. Derek May. Looks like his rookie card. Tried to pull him out of a... And what was that last box we did? Pulled a couple of him out because I thought he was somebody else. <laughs> Derek Lee, I think. Yeah. All right. All right. So not too bad. We're picking up the hit pace here. I feel like we've gotten something out of like four of the last five packs. Keep that trend going here. Maybe we can get that Mike Witt. See if it's uh, error or not. Man, Dwight Gooden. There we go. I think whenever I was younger, I pulled his rookie card once. I thought that was pretty fun. Uh, John Smoltz. Roger Clemens. There we go, there's another one we're looking for of the old timers. Still a lot of pack left. I have another op have still have more opportunity to get something. And 
and so far it looks like cards are mixed in pretty well so, you, so it's not like some packs where you know it's like oh well if you're looking for the rookie card it's one of the first two cards or something uh, what was that 91 score I think was that way not a big fan of that I mean I guess it makes sense for certain things there we go Reggie Jackson number three 1987 a great career ends So we've gotten three of the nine. Now that we're starting to get them, maybe maybe we'll get up to six or something like that. That'd be fun. There's Ryan Sandberg, another one we're looking for. Back-to-back -back Mitch Webster. Why couldn't that be back-to-back -back signed Reggie Jacksons? They probably hand-inserted those. I was kind of doing some mental math to kind of get an idea of what the odds of getting one of those are. And kind of what I came up with is probably one in about 50 cases. <laughs> I don't know if there's I don't think there's any real math out there on what the odds are of finding one. <clears throat> um, but there's only 2500 of them and you know there were a lot of cases made so um, I mean you can still buy this stuff by the case pretty inexpensively so Tommy Glavin Hit up all the Braves pitchers. The only one I think we haven't gotten from that era is, uh, at least of the big ones, is Greg Maddox. I think he's in here somewhere. Regular Kevin Mitchell. It's another Bob. Bob McClure. All right, so three quarters of the way through the box here after this one. Starting to cool off again. Maybe this one will prove me wrong. Maybe we'll get something good out of here. Man, really got to flip a lot of cards around with this stuff. That's one thing you go to open this. <clears throat> oh, that's weird. That's the first time we've had stickers in two places. Um, it, you just don't understand how long it's going to take until you've gone through and flipped through them. Now, one nice thing about these is they're not sticking together. A lot of it, you know, you got to be careful of that when you're buying these old cards. Uh, you don't want to go too crazy with paying for stuff because you might open the box up and they're all glued together. I bought some 1993 Topps Finest packs uh, from a local card store, and that was the case. They were all just stuck together. Oh, here we go. Moving up the list. 1986, moving up the list. I guess that's talking about home runs, maybe? Yep. Moving up the list, home run list. I haven't even seen the Mike Witt. I think the last box um, I opened for 90 Upper Deck, we definitely did get a Mike Witt. Obviously not an error. Um, Julio Franco. And two checklists. Bobby Bonilla and who's this dude? 
George Bell. All right. <clears throat> stickers in this one seems to be the uh, luckiest thing we've gotten out of this box so far <coughs> Craig Biggio again or Craig Biggio ah there we go Sammy Sosa probably the big uh, rookie card in this set since there's no Frank Thomas in the 90 upper deck very cool so I think of the rookies so far, the only one we're looking for, oh no, we're still looking for two. Juan Gonzalez and Larry Walker. Well, can I get this to, oh, there we go. <clears throat> So I guess if you're going to get a Reggie Jackson card, I guess it looks like they're just about always on the back. Fred McGriff. Ah, here's the rookie checklist. Just in case you want to know what was in there. Is this just for the high series? No, it looks like it's the whole thing. Gonzalez there. Ben McDonald. I don't even... Oh, there's Sammy Sosa. Dion Sanders, number 13. Haven't seen him either. Kind of surprised Dion Sanders' cards really aren't worth all that much. <clears throat> as big of a name as he is. I guess in the end, the uh, the value of the rookie card is kind of really tied to performance. Juan Guzman. All right, here we are. We're getting down to the final five packs. Still hoping to get a couple more Reggie Jacksons. We shall see. Doesn't look like we're getting one out of this pack. Oil can Boyd. We are getting one of those again. Robin Yunt. Gary Sheffield. A couple of rookies I hadn't seen before. Tom Drees. I feel like I know the Drees name for whatever reason. All right, here we go. Another Reggie Jackson. Jackson versus Welch. There we go. 
yet another one. So I think we're up to four or five now. It's not bad. Ah, there you go. That's not a bad card to get a duplicate of. King Griffey Jr. again. Jeez, what are the odds of that in a high series box? Can't be very good. Don Mattingly right behind him. When it rains, it pours, I guess. Very good. Very good. I have to say, the good cards that came out are coming out of this box are I mean I feel like on average we're getting more than one per pack here I'd have to go through and count but I feel like either we get two or three in a pack or we don't get anything And I would say this is a box where you don't get anything. <laughs> or a pack where you don't get anything. Okay. Two packs left. We've probably gotten all the exciting stuff out of the box. The Griffey, the Sosa. A few Reggie Jacksons. We have not gotten the possible Nolan Ryan error or correction. Of the six uh, no hitter slash three hundred wins, I think. Still looking for that one. That's probably the biggest card that I'm interested in that we haven't hit yet. There's also a Larry Walker rookie, but. All right, last chance, last pack. Let's see if we get anything here. Randy Johnson, okay. Starting to get some duplicates of good cards. Pretty cool. And it looks like we're going to go out on a quiet note there. Let's go ahead and run through all the cards we got out of this box. There's a ton of them. Randy Johnson, Don Mattingly, King Griffey Jr., Sammy Sosa, Ryan Sandberg, Roger Clemens, Cal Ripken Jr., Randy Johnson, Mark McGuire, um, checklist, Bo Jackson, pretty excited about that one. David Justice, Nolan Ryan 5,000 strikeout card, that is an awesome card, um, King Griffey Jr. again, Don Mattingly, and then a regular Nolan Ryan, of course, let's be honest, the reason why we opened this box was not because of any of those, it was because of these right here, the Reggie Jackson cards, got four, uh, five, of the nine Reggie Jacksons. Okay, so we didn't do bad. And then we got a couple of the Baseball Heroes cover card. Very cool. Um, although they all have facsimile signatures, the one that we want the signature on, we did not get, but um, I'm sure we'll try that again. If you uh, had fun watching this box opening, make sure and hit that like and subscribe uh, to make sure you uh, keep getting the videos, and we'll see you next time.